connect to our extender here but here's the catch normally we'll plug it into the input port of the extender right hey tech enthusiasts welcome back to fast cabling in today's video we're diving into how to set up a temporary ip camera system in construction zone so our client is managing a massive real estate project and construction zone b is now underway in a semi-urban area the key requirement is they need on-site hd surveillance system that's reliable clear and consistent but here's the catch there are two camera points located quite far from the control room one is 250 meters another 400 meters so that's well beyond the standard power over Ethernet limits of 100 meters and because the infrastructure changes frequently so the system must be flexible mobile and powered independently of the grid so our client initially tried using wireless bridges at each location paired with solar panels to supply both power and data. While this seemed ideal, it didn't go well. The wireless system ran into serious interference issues. Construction machinery, cranes, and even concrete caused unstable connection. So that's why we recommended going wire for maximum reliability. So we had two wire options. First is fiber optic, the second is long range power over ethernet. While fiber offers high speed data and distance, it's not the best for temporary construction sites. Why? Fiber is fragile and it doesn't handle rough handling or movement well. Terminating and splicing fiber in the field requires specialized tools and technicians. So it also not cost effective for temporary setup when the layout might change weekly. So that's why we went with long range power over ethernet. It's rugged, simple, and work with standard ethernet cable. It's perfect for this environment. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and I'm going to show you exactly how we set up the 250 meters run using our PoE extender kits and a bullet camera. Come on. So at our control station, we decided to use a PoE and VR, sending both power and data through this short patch cord to our extender. And this PoE and VR is already connected to a monitor. So now we are using power over Ethernet to connect to our first extender. This is an IP67 waterproof rated extender. So first, pull the short patch cord through the gland and use the rubber to wrap around the cable and push it in here and twist it and now we can connect to our extender here but here's the catch normally we'll plug it into the input port of the extender right but for our poe extension kit we need to flip it around that means we need to connect the poe and vr to the output port of the extender so let's connect it and twist it now make sure you use a wrench to fasten our gland and the gland of the extender for full IP67 waterproofing. And then we need to face the input port toward the input port of the next extender. So let's use the 250 meters Ethernet cable to connect to the input port of our extender here run from the input port of our first extender to the second extender's input port. So this is a special holding tool for our extender. Now this is the input port. Plug it in, which is A. And we are going to run another short patch cord from the output port to our bullet camera. So let's put it back in. 
and to our bullet camera. Let's give it a minute. The indicated lights is on. And just like that, we had a stable power and data over 200 meters. And no dropouts, no lag. It worked flawlessly. Now we just have to wait a little bit for our video to come up. Here we go. I'm going to wave my hand so you can see this is a live video. And next, we'll tackle the 400 meters run using a pendulum zoom camera. The setup was similar, but with a twist, now we're using a 400 meters Ethernet cable between our extension kits. So let's begin. All connection is the same as before. We are going to use a sharp patch cord to connect to the output port of our PoE and VR, sending both power and data to our first extender. Remember, we have to plug it into the output port so we can leave the input port facing the input port of the next extender. So let's connect the input port to our 400 meters Ethernet cable. Put it back. Since I don't have a big row of 400 meters, that's why I add 200 plus 200 using a coupler to join them together. So now we get 400 meters. It's already connected to the input port of our second extender. Now I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect it to the PDZ camera. So now we can see our camera is turning on. Let's wait for the video feed. Hmm. However, this time the PDZ camera didn't work well. Why? Well, our extender were working fine, but the PoE and VR didn't supply enough power for the power-hungry PDZ camera. So what should we do? Now we're going to solve the problem by replacing the PoE and VR with a 90 watts PoE++ injector. The PoE and VR only provides 30 watts of power, but the PoE injector provides up to 90 watts. And unlike standard power over Ethernet, which uses two twisted pairs of the wire, PoE++ utilizes all four pairs of the wires in the Ethernet cable. But not all extenders support four pair transmission because some only pass power over two pairs so you should be careful when selecting your gear and fortunately our extender kit is full compatible with PoE++ and uses all four pairs so now let's try this so we can get enough power to our PDZ camera first connect the short patch cord to the network video recorder so we can display video footage then we are going to use the short patch cord to connect to the output port of our injector. Now sending 90 watts of PoE++ power and also the data to the first extender and through our 400 meters Ethernet cable to the input port of the extender and the output port to the PDZ camera. So now let's check it out. All right, so once we swap into the injector, the PDZ camera power up and start working perfectly. I'm going to wave my hand so you can see we're getting all the live video feed. So I've just showed you how to use our PoE extender kits to achieve 250 meters and 400 meters Ethernet run. So the best thing about this extender kit is there's nothing else in between, only one cable needed. So it's perfect for construction sites that's reliable and flexible. Now, if our clients want to add more cameras in the future, that's an even better way. Here's a long-range PoE switch that can deliver both power and data up to 500 meters directly and even for the PDZ camera. So that means simpler cable management and more efficient. 
and that's how you build a robust long-range temporary surveillance system for a construction zone. So long-range power over Ethernet gives you flexibility, reliability, and future scalability. Now, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover other PoE setup or solar power system. Now, thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you in our next video.